Hello, my name is Rachel McMillan. This is my video application where I need to answer the four questions for my course binder. And I did write some things down just to kind of help things flow a little bit better because I get very nervous talking and I have been sneezing a lot today so I'm very out of breath. So if I sound out of breath, I am out of breath. But the first question is, why did you decide to become a teacher? And honestly, I feel like I've always had a big heart for helping people. Like that has been always a characteristic that people have commented on about me is how I love to help people. And I would give the shirt off of my back to help someone in need. And that's how I've always been ever since I was a little girl. I have just wanted to help people and I know that the ultimate way to help people is to take their children and to help them grow in their educational careers and their educational journeys and make them the best person that they can be. And I feel like this is such an important thing that a lot of people aren't made to do it. A lot of people aren't cut out to do it. But if you are, it's a talent and it's something deep down in your heart that you just have. And I've always felt the need to work with children. I thought it was gonna be nursing and then I decided I don't do blood, blood scares me. And I was like, so let's rewind and let's see what we need to do because I want to help kids. This is what I want to do. And all my life I've had people talk about teachers don't make any money teachers do so much work they're underappreciated but the more I've soul searched about it the more I've discovered that that stuff doesn't matter what matters is how much I want to help these children and how much I want for them to be successful in life so I feel like to become a teacher means to be caring and to be helpful and patient and I feel like that's all characteristics that I have and that I want to bring into the educational field and to be able to do this to be able to even apply for this program is so awesome and I'm gonna go on to the next question before I start crying because I will I'm pregnant and I'm very hormonal so next question describe the biggest challenge you think you might face as a teacher and honestly, I feel like the biggest challenge is going to be self-doubt because ever since I was little, I was really overweight. I was made fun of. I was I just never fit in. And that I think that's what helped build me into the person I am today. But on the other end of that, it's a lot of, are you good enough to do this? Are you good enough to help these kids? What if you can't teach them? What if you can't help them strive, help them become who they need to be in this life? And it, that to me is the scariest thing. I want to be successful for these kids and I want them to be successful because that's ultimately all I want in this life. I want kids to learn from me and I want kids to know that Miss McMillan is going to be there for you. She's going to help you. She's going to be the person that you need her to be. So I know a lot of people, it's the planning wise, it's this, it's that. But to me, it's just going to be inside, like, am I going to be able to do it? And that I know most teachers that I see are confident. They are so confident, at least on the outside, and they show it. And to me, I, I feel like me bringing that to the table, showing students that, hey, you can have anxiety about things. Like, it's okay. Miss McMillan has anxiety about things. But guess what? We're going to get through it together. So while it'll be a challenge, I think it'll help kids build. You know, because a lot of kids... They might go through the same things that I did that people make fun of them and then they don't have anybody. And I just want to be there for everyone. 
and I know this is getting off topic because uh, my brain is going 100 miles a minute because I've already started and restarted this video 30 times because I'm trying to make it perfect. But I'm here to show you that I'm not perfect. Uh, none of this is going to be perfect. I've learned that this journey is not perfect. But it is my journey and that's another thing. I mean, it's that's the challenge is... You want to be perfect, and nobody's perfect. So, a lot of this self-doubt I know will go away with time. I know that working with kids, just because I really haven't done it, especially with the COVID going on, I can't go to classrooms, I can't be around them the way I want to. So, I know it'll come with time. That's what everyone says, it comes with time. But, for now, that's my biggest challenge is just worrying about will I be successful? Will I be able to teach these kids? Will I be able to give them everything that they need? Okay, so question number three. What strengths do you possess that will help you become a successful teacher? And ultimately, I think a successful teacher is somebody who is caring, who is patient, who is loving, and who wants to help kids. And I see a lot of people that, like, people that I know that become teachers that they don't care for kids. Like, I don't, I really do not think that you can be a successful teacher and not care about kids. You have to have the heart for it. And I honestly think that I have the heart to take care of kids. And I have the heart to teach kids. And I have the heart to... Let them know that I'm always going to be there. If you have any doubts, I'll be there. And I think just coming from my own point of view, the biggest thing that my strength-wise for me that I can offer is just that caring heart that maybe some of them do not have. And I know that the caring heart can probably go into a challenge too because it'll be hard for me at first to discipline and especially the kids that you know don't have what I had growing up the every advantage that they could have and I know that I'll have kids like that but I also know that strengths wise I will be able to be there for them emotionally because I do have a loving heart and I do I try to shower people with kindness. I don't want to be negative. I don't try to be negative. And I think that is what a successful teacher does. They make sure that, you know, everything is taken care of. Everyone's taken care of. And it's just, I, I want to be successful in it. And I think that having that kind heart having the patience, wanting to help. I think all of those are factors in being a successful teacher. And so finally, question number four. Hopefully this video is not 15 minutes long because I feel like it will be. Uh, how could you encourage students to be lifelong learners? And I think the biggest thing to let your students know is that no matter what age you are, you're gonna be learning something. Every single day you learn something new. So the more willing you are to be open-minded to learning, to know that learning is awesome, to know that learning is fun. I mean, I know it doesn't sound fun and it doesn't seem fun at first because, I mean, school for some kids just is not fun. And I wish that everyone can have that amazing experience that some of us have where School is just great. It's a great place to be. You love to be there. You love to be there learning and be in school and every day you're there. But I also know that not everybody's going to do that. Not everyone's going to have that experience. So with that being said, just encouraging students like every day I learn something new like with these with my classes this semester every single day that I am working on something I'm learning something new and I feel like 
when you learn new things and you let new things be learned, you grow as a person. And I honestly feel like being able to explain that to students, like, you'll grow and you never stop learning if you grow. And that might not have come out right. I'm not going to restart this video because I'm already 10 minutes in. But just letting them know that learning is everything and that the day you stop learning is just the day that I mean I feel like the day you stop learning is the day you die honestly because every day is something new and I feel like it's important for students to know that and it's important for us to instill that in them that every day we need to learn something and we need to be open-minded to learning because learning is a good thing and being able to learn is one of the best things we can do and being open-minded to learn is even better so I know a lot of this was probably me rambling because I'm nervous and I'm trying not to ramble but I can't help it I just get very nervous and so I want to thank everyone that's gonna watch this video hopefully none of my friends look it up because I will be very embarrassed but I want to thank everyone that watch this video that runs the teaching program at Commerce because they, especially through this COVID nonsense, are doing an amazing job. And I feel like every day is just a blessing to be a part of this. And you're really making dreams come true, especially for people like me who have wanted to be a teacher for as long as they can remember. So again, thank you very much and I hope you enjoy this outrageously long video of me. <laughs>